David Bowen from Races Inside Track and I'm with Robbie Power. How are you Robbie? Very good day, everyone, Jeff. Ah, good. Uh, Robbie, we start with yesterday. Great day. Tr three Gold Cups. Um, Cheltenham one, the Punchtown one and the Irish one and Leopardstown. Some horse. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's an achievement I don't think it'll ever be equal to win the Irish Gold Cup in Leopardstown, go on to Cheltenham and win the Cheltenham Gold Cup and then come here and win the Punchtown Gold Cup in the one season is phenomenal all in the space of six weeks. Um, he's just an unbelievable horse. I didn't feel yesterday he was as good as he was in Cheltenham. But in saying that the race yesterday we went proper gallop all the way, there was no hiding places and um, he just had to be very tough and he, and he grounded out really well. He showed yesterday that what he has as well and I know he won well and he had to tough it out in Leprosound but he won well in Cheltenham but yesterday was a real grind for him so he shows he's able to do it everywhere. Yeah exactly, it was a, it was a grueler yesterday and uh, they landed in the back of the last, he put his head down and his ears back and he, he tried really hard, you know, he was he was doing everything he could to get to the line in front. Did you think at the, going to the second last we were going to win? I thought going to the second last I'd win but then he made a slight mistake in the second last and just lost half a length um, and I thought then down to the last I was struggling a little bit. But again, when Ruby missed the last and my lad winged it, I thought then I had a chance again, you know, and in fairness to the horse, he, he dug deep. And um, last week, you rode an Irish Grand National winner, which I know was very special for you, your home course, and means a lot to you. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, Ferry was my local track, and I was there when Desert Orca won the Gold Cup, in, or the Irish Grand National in 1990. And I mean, to, to ride the winner of the Irish Grand National means a lot. It's only 15 minutes over the road from me. and. Um, to win it was great, but to win it on a horse like our Duke was even extra special. He, he could be anything, you know. He was, it was a very, very good performance, and I don't think horse has been as, as impressive in an Irish Grand National since Desert Orchid won back in 1990. So, look, he's still only a novice. It was only his fourth runner of offences, and a competitive 28 runner handicap to do that to them was uh, extraordinary. And uh, hopefully, he'll be a bigger, stronger horse again next year. And who knows? He can be the sky could be limited for him. And I know it's a it's a good complaint to have, but you could you could have a tough decision next year and come Cheltenham. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's eleven months away, and hopefully I do have a tough decision to make. But um, as we all know, it's a long time. Day is a long time in the life of a racehorse. Never mind eleven months. So yeah. uh, look, they have a big season ahead of them next season. But Power Duke and Sizing John, and hopefully we can keep them in one piece. And I do have a tough decision to make next year. And going back a little further back to Cheltenham, uh, was a great week for you. Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, I mean. We thought going over with the best team horses going that we've had for a long time and uh, to have the winner on the Wednesday on Super Sunday was just a fantastic relief. I hadn't ridden a winner in Cheltenham for six years and um, it just took the... Boston's the Angel was the last one, wasn't it? Boston's Angel in the RSA, yeah, and it just took the monkey off my back a little bit and took the pressure off a little bit. And I don't think it changed the way I rode Size and John later on in the week, but it just gives you that bit of confidence. Yeah. And, uh, then sure, Size and John on the day in the Gold Cup was absolutely fantastic. He, he just never put a foot wrong the whole way. And he, he won impressively and, and just to round the whole week off with um, Rock the World in the Grand Annual. It was just a special week. You must have felt, felt the free as a bird going out riding him. Yeah, I've maintained that Rock the World carried 10 stone less than he was allocated because I think I was floating above his back. So, uh, no, it was just a fantastic week. And, as I say, it had been six years since my last Cheltenham winner, and to have three then in one week, it was fantastic. And then you went to Aintree, then you had a, you had a great week. Yeah, no, Aintree was, was fantastic, and it was great to get the to offer the ride on the Mr and Mrs Potts' horses, and um, I mean, Aintree was the first big one. I went over to Colin Tizard's for a day, just to have a sit on Fox Norton and Finian's Oscar, and just to get the feel of them, Pink Shoe, and... Started off winning the Grade One novice heard on the Friday with Pink Shoe, sixteen to one, and he was impressive. And then on the same day, Fox Norton won the Melling Chase, stepped up to two and a half for the first time, and, and he was very, very impressive as well. And then have a two rides on the Friday, two winners, and then first two races on the Saturday, Grand National Day, and, and two winners again. You know, it was just a phenomenal week, and I never thought I'd be lucky enough to be leading rider during the festivals and to be leading rider in She was just fantastic. And then Fox Norton here on Tuesday then showed how good he was to, to turn the tables with on the soul from being beaten at Cheltenham to win at Ainge and then to, to win again here is incredible. Yeah, exactly. And it's a great training performance by Colin Tinder as well to keep him fresh for the three festivals. And I mean, he's only a, a short head away from doing the, the treble and um, he was 
two miles and that was a bit on the sharp side for him and he was very gutsy as well the other day because um, he was off the bridle for most of the way on the soul and rocked the world, brought us along a good gallop and just things were happening a bit quick for him but uh, I mean when he straightened up I always felt if I could turn him within two lengths of on the soul I'd pick him up. Mm. I don't think on the soul quickens on, on good ground but lucky enough my lad does so when he jumped the second last I always felt going to the last that, I, that I'd win. You're very lucky obviously sizing John and Fox Norton and that, but it's a, you're in a great position now with, with the pots and with Jessica as well, then when her horse is going so well. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, uh, Jessica's been extremely loyal to me over the years, and um, I wasn't going to walk away from her to, and go solely to wait for the pots. So, still, my first priority is with Jessica. She's first calling me still, and she's been very good to me this week in Punchestown. She let me off, rock the world, ride Fox Norton. So, uh, you know, I'm grateful for her to see. She let me do that as well. and. Uh, it's just been a great association with Jesse first and foremost for a long time and then the Potts relationship has started fantastically well. well. There's not many lads that go to Cheltenham and ride three winners and then go to Aintree and be leading jockey and then come here. So um, you must be pinching yourself still then with yeah, the no, overall. Exactly. I mean, it's just and a Grand National winner. And the Irish Grand National as well. It's just been a phenomenal uh, time of saying that. One day at a time in this game, you don't get too carried away because racing is a great way of bringing you back down to earth. And uh, as I say, we just keep taking things one day at a time, and hopefully it, it keeps going for a bit longer. Anyway. Pity Liverpool aren't going as well as your winners are going. No, I actually went over to Anfield last Sunday to watch them play Crystal Palace. And that was the Ben Teke show. Yeah, that was a bit depressing. But anyway, um, once I'm going well, I don't care what Liverpool are doing. <laughs> well, that's it. Exactly. Well, listen, Robbie, best luck today and for next season as well and all the. All the big days ahead. Cheers, thanks for being there.